Good morning, guys. And uh, today I want to give you a tour of my yard and like probably the worst time of the year for me and the worst conditions. Uh, but as much as we hate it, we got to do it. So here I got my tools, I got my quick weedy there and I got my, my clippers, my machete, my knife and uh my japanese uh so so uh and i'll and, and the file so if i guess too too bad you know i'm i'm i come back and sharpen a little bit but this is what i wanted to show you this is the end of summer some people would call it the beginning of fall i mean here in uh florida in orlando i don't know if you, we can call it fall but let's call it fall but this is how i was looking Everything is a jungle. Uh, the wheat is everywhere. Everything is overgrown. Uh, it rains. And uh, everything goes crazy. But as you can see, everything, the boniato is going everywhere. Over here, I don't even know what it is anymore between boniato, weeds, the blackberries. But as you can tell, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's like I have... A completely jungle going on look at the sweet potatoes all the way to my fence surprise my neighbor hasn't killed me yet uh, but uh, but this is like I told you guys this is the worst part of the year for me because like I always told you guys I'm a part-time gardener I don't do this every day uh, I work a full-time job uh, as a manager and uh, I have a son I have a house and you guys know how that goes, but it's very easy to let go. And uh, just all it takes is a couple of weeks and you have a completely jungle going on. So you see the grass is like crazy. I got weeds everywhere. I got weeds that I never seen before, to be honest with you. Um, so it's going to be a long day for me. But I got to do the hard part of gardening or the worst part of gardening, if you want to call it. Uh, you see, it's like everywhere you look, I got weeds going on. This is like one of those mining things uh, is being creeping and uh, I got over my blood beans over there. My blood berries in here. Uh, so it's going to be a little tedious and hard, but it got to be done. I'm going on vacation next week to DR, uh, Dominican Republic. Uh, we're going on a family vacation. And uh, I just wanted to make sure that the person that is gonna stay in my house, watching my house, which is a friend of mine, and she is gonna water and take care of my garden. Uh, I don't wanna make, I don't wanna let them a mess and it's gonna be so hard to actually get to whatever I really need to be taken care of, which is my fruit trees, my container planting and here and there. But you see the sweet potato, I'm gonna harvest it probably when I come back. But the gatu is overgrown, the sweet potato is going everywhere. This is like that Spanish needle that they call it. The bees love it, but everywhere that sea goes, may the Lord be with you. Uh, so as you can tell, it's like every single part of my garden is uh it's going gugun this cranberry hibiscus is going bananas and uh i'm gonna leave it because i wanna i wanna have harvest the the rosels you know the uh, the the flowers you see all the flowers are coming so i want to be sure i harvest it i want to say seeds for next year and i also want to use it for tea and all that but this is also a sweet potato in there that I will harvest when I come back, probably. Um, here, my uh, fire bush is getting a little big, but as you can tell, the pollinators love it. I got bumblebees, I got all the bees. I have this green bee that I never seen before, but um, everywhere, sweet potato is again taking over everything i told you i don't know this climbing vine what name it is or whatever but it's been taking over everything here 
This is like my flower part and it's like overgrown. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to everything today, but I'll do my best. And uh, you know, some of my beds, I comp they're completely full of weeds. Um, my yuca is just, uh, I don't know, a cassava, how most people know. I mean, this thing is growing as bigger as my neighbor's trees. Uh, <laughs> but uh, my logo, there is flowering again, which I'm very excited. And uh, I think if I have time, I might get to this side and pull those uh, blackberries that they haven't done nothing for me in there. I think I'm just gonna put some uh, grapevines, maybe. I'm debating what am I gonna do. But this is the, the ugly part of gardening, I would call it. Um, I really, really hate weeding uh, because uh, I don't have a lot of time and then uh, just the time that I have, I would like to spend in planting, grafting, uh, cloning things, air layering. Like I wanna do a lot of air layering, but I, I just can't get to it because it's just so hard. But anyways, I just wanted to show you this jungle right now that is really, really crazy, as you can tell. And uh, hopefully um, by the end of the day, I will do uh, another part of this video that you guys can see how it looks after I'm done whatever I got to do today. But uh, the sugar cane, you see, is like, I told you guys before in the other video I did about the summer tour, I have a cañaver out here. But anyways, wish me luck. And uh, it's gonna be a long day of me being like, Rrr. <laughs> but we got to do it guys we got to do it we got i mean it has so look at how much real estate i'm wasting just in there because of all that overgrown whatever you want to call it these days thank you so much for watching and uh go out there do something and uh hopefully uh nature will surprise you i mean uh it's always something good about gardening even when we do the things that we don't like to do Please like and subscribe. I see you guys in the next video. And as always, uh, I appreciate your time and your comments and everything that you can bring to to my channel. I, I'll take it and it's an inspiration every day. Bye now.